Guess what, Justin? We just want a cat! We did? You'd be surprised at how many emails from the King of Nigeria I had to answer to get this one. King, King of Nigeria? Marco, where did you, where did you even find this? Uh, that's not important. Here, let me show you some of your selections. See, here's a black cat. Here's a brown cat. Here's a brown and gray cat. A reddish cat. An orange cat. A green cat. And you know, cat. you know my mom's allergic to cats, right? Yeah. We'll just get a hyperallergenic cat. No, 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 no. I don't think you can. You understand. She can't be around cats. Second, she sees fur. She's gone. Can't we just do this one fun <sighs> thing? God, you're. Hopeless. You know, Justin, I already ordered it. I am not putting my mother's life in danger, and you don't even live here! Too bad, so sad. You know what, Marco? I just want you to know, you've brought death onto this family! Hypoallergenic, please. He's he's just gonna still kill my mother. And hey, what's that? Huh? Bittersweet candy bowl. Hmm. Now I I don't personally own any candy or bowls, let alone candy bowls. But hey, this looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. Oh, look! There's cats here. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Before I begin, I actually want to acknowledge that I was beaten of being the first review of Bittersweet Candy Bowl by Riser over at Webcomic Relief. His video involves a one hour and six minute review of this comic. Good God, Riser, do you have any self-control? All right, now let's begin. So as you've probably noticed, Bittersweet Candy Bowl, or BCB for short, is a webcomic about anthropomorphic cats and dogs instead of bowls and candy. Now as much as I'd love to read a comic about the latter subject matter, I can already see how this comic is prime for popularity. I mean, just look at it. It fits right into what the internet has craved since the beginning of time. You got your cat videos, your cat subreddits, Grumpy Cat, and this comic falls right in the middle of that culture. You've really done good here, guys, in finding your target audience. This comic started back in 2006 on good old DeviantArt as just a few characters that bobbled in the head of the author since she was a kid. At this point it wasn't very serious, lighthearted, and just filled to the brim with inside jokes. Also, this was the time where the author was allowing fan characters made by close friends, a practice she deeply condemns and regrets now. The lesson today, ladies and gentlemen, don't ever create a fan character. I didn't say nothing. In 2009, Bittersweet Candy Bowl opened its new website with its colorful palette making the reader crave candy and cats. Since then, the comic has been updating on an impressive Monday, Wednesday, and Friday schedule, making it very easy to keep up with the updates. In 2013, Bittersweet Candy Bowl was voted to be the best webcomic by Comic Mix. And recently, the comic just celebrated its 10th anniversary back in May. Quite an accomplishment, to say the least. Now regarding the art, the art styles have changed drastically throughout the duration of the comic. It begins somewhat rough with minimal backgrounds and blobby cats that can really only be told apart by bow, scarf, necklace, and hair. Some important chapters have been re-inked for readability, but I understand that there isn't any time to fix them all. Towards about the quarter mark of the comic, it's clear to see the author has drastically improved her drawing skills and has added backgrounds and character differences. Now at the halfway point, color starts to be added with the drawing to soon be blown into full bright colors. The art took another transformation to watercolor and finally ended in a digital palette which is personally my favorite. 
I could go on and on about the great art improvements, but this video would start to look like Riser's one hour and six minute fiasco. Now who's even in this comic? Ooh, a character list. Nice touch. The webcomic is generally centered around the four main characters here. First, there's Lucy, who is rather reserved and doesn't like to open up to many people. Next, there's Mike, whose nice guy attitude has earned him a lot of welcomed and unwelcomed attention. There's Daisy, a thoughtful and gifted cat who wants to be more than her stereotype makes her out to be. And lastly, there's Paulo, who plays the cool kid well, but has a fiercely loyal side when he has to stick up for his friends. These four characters together had been through a lot in the 94 chapters this comic has lasted. Maybe the reason I found these characters so endearing is because, well, they act just like us. Except none of the violence, and oh yeah, we're four guys as well. There's also a wealth of secondary characters, some serious and some joke characters. The first dog you meet in the comic is David, who is Paulo's best friend and always has something interesting to say from his ignorance. Next there's Abby, who is Daisy's boyfriend and tries to keep his temper in check from past upbringings and other classmates. There's Augustus, whose calm demeanor keeps him distant from the rest of the cast. And lastly, there's Sue, who I believe everyone admires her for her no-nonsense, anti-drama attitude. There are many more secondary characters who I could introduce here, but I think I'll let you discover them for yourself. Oh, but don't think there aren't any bad guys in this comic. There are these two. They rape cats. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Roseville High. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. So you better hide your cats, hide your dogs, and hide yourself. Because why am I still doing this joke? <laughs> and there's also this cat, who only exists to put sleeping drugs in your Halloween candy. But hey, I gotta say, I really need to get me one of them t-shirts. You think you can just come into this house and be on your phone and watch TV? Is that all you do? Sue, what the hell? Oh, hey, Justin. You think you can come into my house and just drink whatever you want? Juice is for sissies! So what's the overall plot of this comic? Well, let's see. You've got a bunch of cats and a high school. So I'll let you guess the plot. If you said feline high school dramatic soap opera, then you're right on the mark. Oh my god, you guys! Drama bomb! This might turn some people off, but hear me out. This makes the comic quite relatable because no one had an easy time in high school. This comic, oddly enough, portrays the life and those relationships in a semi-realistic, entertaining manner. Sure, there are some over-the-top scenes in the comic, but these never take up more than a page each, thereby keeping the realism of the story together with some entertaining parts. Now this next part of the comic is definitely my favorite part. The creators themselves. The people who have made all of this in front of you are the power couple of the century. Veronica, also known as Teshi, is your artist and main dialogue writer of the comic. Through quite an amazing life story, she's the one to thank for bringing these cats to life. Her husband, Oliver, also known as Suitcase, is the editor-in-chief and website admin. Certainly a dirty and tiring job that he's happy to do. His no-nonsense attitude and her creativity pair quite well. And together, this couple has been kicking ass for the past 10 years, and I really hope they keep up the excellent work. And let's not forget about the fans either. Until recently, there's been a good old comment section for every page. This is where most of the fan interaction and discussion took place. What I want to know, though, is how it's even possible to write paragraphs on a webcomic. One of the website sections on Bittersweet Candy Bowl is a section called Candy Buru. 
which is dedicated exclusively to fan art. Let me just say, some of this art is freaking awesome! There's a grand total of 11,131 works of art in Buru. Really impressive number itself. And there's a growing collection of art that really just makes me kind of sad how terrible, terrible of an artist I am. Additionally, Teishi made a brief webcomic based on the four 16-bit era Sonic games. It's finished in 2014, but was still a really nice read with good art and humor. But wait, there's more! There's a spin-off of the main comic, Ask BCB, where fans can ask cast members questions of their choosing. Some questions are plot related, and others just for fun, but this section has enticed me enough to the point where I started asking my own questions. But wait, there's more. Teishi and Suitcase also have bi-monthly draw streams on Picardo thanks to their patrons. The art that comes from these streams has been nothing short of exemplary, and fun to be around the whole community as we interact, screw around, and share memes together. But wait, there's more! Teishi and Suitcase even go to major cities to meet new people and greet fans. They usually hang around artist alleys of most big anime cons. In 2016 alone, they have gone to seven locations, each for a huge weekend, clearly showing their dedication to the fans. Now with all of this extra content and events, the only thing I worry about is their surely screwed up sleep schedule. Overall, this is one of my favorite webcomics and would definitely recommend it. So why don't you check it out? I'm sure you'll find something to like here. Well there you have it, Bittersweet Candy Bowl. Now one of the criticisms I've heard is that this comic's too stupid to even enjoy. Now although I can be a nitpicker when it comes to reviewing these things, can confirm never watch a movie with him, but for some reason I've been able to suspend my disbelief for this and I guess it's better that way. One of the things, I, I wouldn't put too much uh, thought into this comic. I don't see why you would. It's just a good guilty pleasure. And that's why I really had a great time with this. From everything from the authors, to the comic, to the community, everything itself. Now, if you excuse me, I think it's time that I fix something. You think this is working? It's hard to tell. I, can't, I, I, don't, I honestly have no idea what you're doing. I got this. Hold on. Uh, hey, what's, what's going on, guys? Can't talk right now, Justin. I'm busy purging my email. Apparently, that king in Nigeria, he had some backup with him. A couple of princes helping him out or something. Why? Are you going to change your mind? Oh, uh, I, yeah, I was going to change my mind. Uh, here's something that kind of helped me decide that. What is this? It's, uh, it's what made me more tolerable of cats and dogs? <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> Come on, Justin. This is the real world after all. I mean, your pet is fun, but not like that. What's this? Peanuts? Yeah, peanuts. I'm allergic to peanuts. Thanks for watching. Down in the description is the links to the webcomic and other truly terrible gamer social media accounts. And of course, can't wait to see you all in the next video. Show us that sexy. <laughs>